My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This here is a 1973 Plymouth Duster 340. The Duster 340 was the high performance package. It's got VIN number matching motor and trans. This car was on a rotisserie taken down to a bare shell and completely restored. I've got receipts and a photo album to document that. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can look at all the pictures, read our description, and that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. Yeah, when I'm holding these binders, that means it's got documentation. I did go through the receipts, a lot of miscellaneous little things that you never think of when you're restoring a car. Uh, and also the receipt for a rebuilt transmission, rebuilt motor with all the specs, that's in here as well. But what's really impressive is the photo album. When I say it was taken to a bare shell, I mean it was just a shell. Uh, and it was put on a rotisserie so they could flip it, work on it from every angle, top to bottom. You get the best job possible when it's on a rotisserie. Uh, inside the car was completely gutted. The whole dash was apart, the heater box was apart, uh, and everything was painted yellow. The hole inside of the car, uh, in the trunk, in the engine bay was all yellow, and we've got some great pictures, uh, just a, a yellow painted shell, every component inside the car, the duct work, uh, all of it was redone. The brakes were all redone, uh, we got pictures of the the rear brake drum off is even pretty inside the brakes. Uh, you know, air cleaner assembly, motor compartments painted beautifully. Uh, it's all really slick. Every bracket, pulley, power steering pump, the rear end. Uh, the seats were taken down to the bare springs, sandblasted, painted, new cushions, new upholstery. Uh, and this really, uh, this here really shows you how how far they took it. The whole, the whole car was apart. So anyway, yeah, underneath the car, like I said, is painted lemon twist yellow. All the metal looks pristine. The frame rails, the inner rockers, the lower inner quarters, all beautiful metal, all painted the same slick yellow color. The front end's completely rebuilt. All the ball joints, bushings, everything looks new. It's all detailed and fresh. You look up at the motor, it's fresh. The VIN number of the car is stamped on the engine down by the oil pan. Transmission was rebuilt by k &B Transmissions. We have the receipt. It's the VIN number 727 Torque Flight Trans that goes to this car. Uh, the rear end assembly was all out and apart. It's all painted gloss black. They duplicated the assembly markings are painted back on it. I'm not sure what ratio is in the rear end. It wasn't in the notes. Uh, the rear suspension was redone. They also upgraded it with some coilover shocks in back. Uh, the fuel tank was replaced. The brake lines, fuel lines, uh, the brake systems all completely redone. Has disc in front. Has a dual exhaust system with Flowmaster mufflers. You'll hear it in a little bit. It sounds great. It's got the correct tips coming out the back. Uh, so underneath the car is like a brand new looking car. The body on it is excellent. I went around just before the video and I did not find, it's slick down here, like Teflon. I didn't find a bump or bubble anywhere, no damage, no cracking, no problem areas. The paint and body is slick. It's one of those that the door shuts like a new car, just a nice thunk. Both bumpers have show quality chrome. There's a receipt for a new grill has the optional fender turn signals, has the correct antenna. And of course, it's decked out with the side stripes that say 340. The emblems, marker lights, door handles look new. Has what they call the racing mirrors. 
Uh, the glass looks to be really nice. There's a couple of hairline scratches or marks. Uh, so it's not new glass, but it's all real good. The rear windows that pop out. Uh, it's got the rear spoiler. Tail lights look like they've been re-chromed. The bumper show quality chrome. Trunk fits beautifully, just slick as can be. It even feels slick. Whole trunk compartment completely uh, you know, restored, sealed, painted yellow. Has a new sticker, weather strip, new trunk mat, seat back divider, trunk light works. It does have, under the mat, it does have the uh, fiberboard panel, but there's no spare. The original tires were so skinny, a fat tire doesn't fit under there. Uh, it does have the jack assembly. It looks like it's cleaned up and painted and mounted in the proper location. Uh, the wheels are new. They're 14-inch rally wheels, new wheels, new trim. They have the receipt for that. Door jams are painted real slick. Uh, new weather strips. Of course, it has the blacked-out hood with the big scoop and the 340 four-barrel emblems. And this car is also documented with the build sheet and the uh, fender tag. We did decode the fender tag. That'll be posted on our website, but it's a real uh, you know, 340 duster. It's with the high performance 340 motor. And this one was reworked a little bit more. It's got a hot cam in it. So it has a, a vacuum reservoir can here. It holds extra vacuum because this cam, high performance cams don't produce a lot of vacuum. So I said this was out as a bare shell. I got pictures of it all painted yellow. There's actually one picture of the car upside down when they were putting a headliner in. I guess it was easier to work with it upside down. Makes sense. Um, so new carpet, new upholstery, all new door panels. The whole dash area was apart, I mean, completely. So it all looks really nice. The wood grain's all new. Original AM radio is in there. Heater control panel uh, looks really nice. Dash pad is mint. It does have an aftermarket uh, Sun Pro white face tachometer, and it has three matching gauges down below. In the receipts, they did buy a used console. It's still like 450 bucks for a used one. And there is some pitting in the chrome, but they did put new wood grain, new wiring harness, a uh, new shifter boot. Steering wheel's really nice. Carpet's new. It has embroidered duster floor mats. Visors, headliner were replaced. The dome light works. There are a few wrinkles on the upper driver's seat. Uh, a few little wrinkles there. So it's a VIN number match motor, completely rebuilt. It's been bored out. It has a comp cam. The heads are redone. All new bearings, pistons, valves. Uh, you have two pages on the motor build. Uh, power brakes, that all looks new. Power steering. Has Mopar hoses and clamps, and everything is painted. The engine bay is gorgeous. The radiator's gloss black. All the pulleys, the power steering, uh, everything's painted up real slick. Has hood insulation. The squirters look like they're hooked up. Batteries bolted down properly. New battery cables. New alternator. And it has stock manifolds, valve covers. Does have an Edelbrock carb. All right, here's the point in the video where we fire it up. Well, that's nice. Heater control panel lights up. There's like a pump button on the floor. The only thing I can think of is like the old Volkswagen. They must be for the squirters, which the bottle's empty, but it, I think you pump it to squirt the windshield. You hear that cam? Original fender tag. Oh yeah. Sounds real nice.
I want to shut it off. That's a perfect idle. That that sounds good. Uh, the key buzzer works. I hear that. The AM radio did not work when I turned it on. Glove box liner is new. It has uh, retractable seat belts. Those are new. It has seat belts in the back too. So there you go. Uh, I don't know what a professional shop would cost uh, to do this car like, like someone's already done, probably two, three times what we're asking. Uh, but anyway, that's my impression of this car. Go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways to contact our salesman. They'd be happy to answer your questions or concerns the best they can. They can help get this delivered to any driveway in the country. They can help you get financed. Go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the videos, that's great. And if you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, don't forget to click on the bell icon. That way you'll be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.